I've been hearing a lot of people having issues with building your first settlement in Fallout 4, so I decided I'd make this video just to help people get started with their settlement. I'll cover building, how to complete the first quest, and I'll touch on power lines as well. I'll start out with food as that takes quite a long time to grow, but if you prefer not to grow it and just to go elsewhere, then uh, if you carry on the Minuteman quest line, you'll end up in a farm and there's a ton of food you can get from that. But from this video, I'll be using the only crops available inside Sanctuary, which can be found just behind the main workshop building. Once you've harvested them, open up the build menu by holding V. Uh, Bethesda have decided in all their wisdom that the arrow keys is what you need to use to navigate the UI. So it's left and right to cycle through the categories up and down to select and go for the levels. Uh, in this case, melons will be under food and then resources. Once you've got them, just press E to plant them in uh, somewhere near the near where the originals were to keep them in one place. That'll make it much easier later. You need to get up to five food. It says at the top left that we've got two at the moment and it gets you about 0 0.5 per plant. So that gives you an idea how many you need. Next up we need some water. For that we need some actual building materials, so let's scrap some of the buildings, the rubble around here. Uh, just open up the build menu, look at it, press R, hit enter. The pumps themselves can go pretty much anywhere as long as it's on the mud, the dirt. Once you've done that, it's an idea to get out of your power arm if you're still in it, because you don't want to juice up on that. While power cores are relatively plentiful, it's not enough to go around farming all the time in it. Then go over to the workshop and store all your junk in there by hitting T. This will automatically use as resources for all your future building projects. Some things need citizens assigned to them to work properly, such as our crops. To do this, look at a citizen of our third town and hit E. Then go up to the crops and hit E again. Once all your citizens are assigned to work the farm, this is the perfect opportunity to go around and gathering some more building materials. So just have a look around, see what you don't like, see what resources it gives you and then scrap it. You don't have to scrap everything, just what you don't like really. So uh, there's a bit of uh, news, well more of a, you know, uh, a Carters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Uh -huh. So this is the next part of the quest, to set up some beds. You should have all the resources from this when you're scrapping, so just go into any random bedroom, wreck the place, and then put down some beds. And that's pretty much it. You need five. Once you're done with that, check on your crops again, do it regularly, and just see when they eve harvesting. When they do, harvest them, replant hey, them. Sturgis. When you feel like it, you can talk to Sturgis again and complete the I'm quest. You should have already done the water Great. and the beds. Thanks again. Hey Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, We'll need to get some crops established. Here we're already up to 60% on growing the crops, so just a few more to get over the top. Finding Sturges later might be a bit of a nightmare, so there's a bell you can find in resources, then miscellaneous. And if you use this, it will recall all these settlers, so you can find them easier. The next stage will be just to build some turrets. You need that for a defense quest after the food quest. It's really easy, you should have the resources by now, just place them where you want to. Uh, they tend to come in through the front entrance, so I'll just place them on top of these pillars. It's personal choice, really. But with that, you have now completed all the quests except for food. So, what you do now is completely up to you. You can go do quests while it grows, you can go find some food for yourself, or you can do what I'm going to do, which is scrap everything still, and then carry on and do some building. One thing I didn't mention is if you look, if you don't want to scrap something and look at it in the build menu, you can hit tab and that will store it in your workshop inventory. Dog meat should feel right at home with that. Feel free to use your resources to build up some defences, uh, as good a use as any. 
walls or anything else. Okay, it looks like my crops have finally grown, so I can plant a few more of these and that'll get my food up, but it still won't be enough to actually complete the quest. I'm a little bit sure. So I'll use this time to gather up some resources and show you how to build a small structure. Build a wall on one side of the building, then attach the roof to it. It will only attach to one side, so make sure you have the wall the right way around. Turn it around if necessary. Then cover the area you want to build on with the roof. Snap the rest of the walls to the roof rather than other walls so you get the right shape. It's much easier to avoid bugs by doing using this method. I haven't really noticed any issues of interior design, just place the items where you want it. You should have the resources by now and just make it look pretty. Okay, so I promised I'll touch on lighting and power, so I'll do that now. Uh, build a generator, anywhere you like, same way as everything else. Then, look at it, press space, that will start a wire. I'll attach it to a switch, you don't have to do this. Uh, the switch will allow you to turn it on and off. Then, from that, run it to a power conduit. Place the power conduit on the outside of the building, around where the light is on the inside. Then just leave build mode, hit the switch, and hopefully if the conduit is close enough to the light, it should turn on. Many things, such as the antenna, need to be directly wired. Only the lights will work wirelessly. And once your next crop of food has been delivered, your segment will be up and running.